The RCRC approach, based on the continuous Kanban function test, may be criticized, as it generalizes the fact that affiliation to non-state armed forces is not straightforward. There are indeed situations in which membership to such a forces is indisputable, mainly because persons wear a fixed distinctive signs or uniform. And it is true that the RCRC alludes to such a situations. The RCRC admits the application of an organic membership approach with respect to a specific kind of non-state armed forces, the dissident armed forces. But for other types of non-state armed forces, organized armed groups in the RCRC terms, the wearing of a uniform or a fixed distinctive sign is only considered as a mere potential indication that the person has a continuous combat function. In addition, it seems that these uniforms or distinctive signs appear less as an indication of a continuous combat function than a sign of organic membership to an organized armed group. A parallel may be drawn with regular state armed forces whose all members wear uniforms and distinctive signs, even those who do not have any combat function. To take into account such a situation, it is plausible to suggest that different tests should be applicable to different non-state armed forces. We could distinguish as it is also the case with respect to state armed forces, between regular and irregular non-state armed forces. The regular non-state armed forces would be composed of those formally integrated therein, whose membership would depend upon the law of non-state party to which they belong, or any formal test, with the integration expressed by the wearing of a uniform or a fixed distinctive sign. The irregular non-state armed forces would only be composed of those having a continuous combat function. The two criticisms raised against the RCRC approach concerning the bias towards armed groups and the difficulty of identifying whether the targeted person acts sporadically or not would not apply to the non-state armed forces where uniform was worn or insignia displayed. Even members who do not have a continuous combat function could be targeted and the identification of all members of those forces would be easier. On the other hand, both the objective and the appeal of the RCRC approach is that it can provide a general overarching framework applicable to any armed group. In addition, according to the differentiated test, members of irregular non-state armed forces would be better protected against attacks since only those having a continuous combat function would be part of them and targetable. Therefore, there could be an incentive for a non-state party to the conflict not to resort to formal criteria for the membership to its armed forces and avoid wearing a uniform or a fixed distinctive sign. This may increase the risk for civilian population to be targeted 